Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs channel. My name is Greg. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And with that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So, injury report extended a little bit here. We found out that Cole Holcomb had injured his quad sometime this week. And there's a question mark. Is he going to be able to play this weekend? Now, we don't know. We're going to find out today. Now, probably by the time that I'm actually able to release this video, we will already know what the injury report is going to be for Sunday's game. I have a feeling that Holcomb will probably wind up playing, but if not, we're probably going to wind up seeing John Bostic, I would think, uh, which is going to be okay. I, I, you know, John Bostic is a more than capable of line, a linebacker who can come in and get the job done. But Cole Holcomb is by far right now our best linebacker. Let, let's not pull any punches. Uh, Jamie Davis, um, you know, he had, he had an outstanding preseason, I, I felt. You know, I, I could tell during the preseason that he took some good strides. Uh, he practiced really hard during training camp. We really felt that he was going to take the next step forward, right? But I'm I'm sorry, but that first game just did not reflect any of that. He just he he had a so-so game, as what uh, Jack Del Rio said, and just I mean he just didn't play well. And so now you know we're we're having to. There's a lot of pressure on Jamie Davis, so we really need Cole Hogan healthy. That's all I got to say. And Jamie Davis is going to have to step up. I am really worried that we missed a, missed a mark on, on Davis. But, <clears throat> you know, you can't judge him by one one game. There's a lot of teams out there in uh, week one that just honestly look like they're still in preseason mode. And so maybe... <laughs> Maybe Jamin Davis was still in preseason mode, even though that he actually looked better in preseason than he did in regular season. So there you go. Uh, so we're going to have to watch that quad injury carefully with Holcomb. Could be a game time decision, possibly. But if not, I would fully expect uh, either David Mayo or um, John Bostic to, to get the nod. Um, I would prefer John Bostic over David Mayo. So... Um, I, I think that John Bostic would be a little bit more of a solid choice, honestly. So, um, there you go. Um, it's just the hits keep getting better. I will say, though, uh, there are some good news on the injury front. Not not just bad news, but good news. Um, it looks like that Jonathan Allen is probably going to be okay. Um, he said he felt fine. Uh, the MRI was just precautionary. He does have a slight growing injury. Um, they had a wrap on, on his upper thigh there, so um, they're going to be watching that. He was limited as well, but he took part in drills and practice and all of that. And and so uh, you'll have to keep a close eye on Jonathan Allen, but I fully expect if, he's, if he can get out there, he's going to get out there and play. He may not be 100%. Now, that, that's the thing. You know, you want these guys to play, but you also want them to be able to you know, actually get out there and cause some damage, right? Not not to themselves, but you, you want them to be able to play at a high level and not just to be a warm body out there to say, hey, Jonathan Allen is out there. Uh, you want him to be able to do his job. So uh, we're going to keep a close eye on that. Uh, Cameron Curl, he was back in practice, which was nice to see. Um, so... Cameron Curl, there, there's going to be a decision made, of course, today if he's going to be able to go. If not, I fully expect um, uh, Forrest to be out there ready to go. Forrest had a very good game, in my opinion, uh, against the Jaguars. I think that he would be, um, I'd be okay. Uh, I'm fully comfortable with Forrest going back out there again um, if he has to. So, Let's see what happens. Honestly, um, I know you can't tell after one game, but maybe there's a way to, to work Forrest and Curl out there. You know, Forrest may have 
worked himself into a little bit more playing time, uh, which is not a bad thing. Maybe to work him into a, a few more packages and stuff like that where maybe Curl is not at his best. Maybe Forrest is better in those packages. So let, let's, let's look at that. You know, the big thing, though, is that uh, Brian Robinson was out there doing drills. You know, just a couple of weeks after getting shot in the leg twice, he's back out there doing drills. I mean, this is awesome, man. This guy, I think, is... I mean, he has to be out for four games. But honestly, I think if that was not a rule, he probably would try to be back in there sooner. Uh, I fully expect him to be back in there 100%. Um, as soon as it's clear that he can get back out there. Um, it was just a, a joy to see this on Twitter that um, Brian Robinson is back out there. You know, he's not on crutches. Yeah, he certainly that, that leg was heavily wrapped, but he's out there doing his drills. He's getting back healthy again. I can't wait. I, this guy is just, he is just giving me so, so much so much to look forward to. I mean, I, I can't wait to get him. I can't wait to see him out there. I mean, he just excited me so much in preseason. And with with the way that Antonio Gibson played on Mon or on the week one as well, uh, if Antonio Gibson continues to play well too, man, you get Robinson out there. That backfield's going to be unstoppable. We already have, of course, you know, J.D. McKissick. In the in the mix, I mean, it's going to be outstanding, man. I, I just uh, I, I'm getting so excited with this offense. Anyway, you guys, let me know in the comment section below uh, what you think. Um, should we have a concern that Cole Holcomb is going to be out for Sunday? If so, Jamie Davis is going to have to step up, man. I hope that that was not a missed pick. I, I am not judging too quickly, guys. Don't jump on me in the comment section saying, Greg, you're, you're judging too quickly. I'm not. I'm not. But that first game was not good by Jamie Davis. It was not good. Uh, let me know in the comment section what you think. Uh, again, please, 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 uh, su you know, support this channel. Subscribe to it if you can. Uh, when you do, hit that notification bell. Um, also, if you can, share this video, like this video, comment, do whatever you can. You see down at the bottom, follow me on Twitter. Um, you can support Washington Football Maniacs on Patreon. Um, if you want to just donate monetarily, monetarily. <laughs> it's early morning, I haven't had coffee yet. Um, i got a Cash App, i got Venmo. Um, and uh just yeah support us can't seem to get out. but something deep inside won't let me quit i swear that i'm inspired by your